Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I've been asked to make a comparison video between my Chanel rectangular classic mini flap and square mini flap right here. My rectangular one is in the black color caviar leather with the brushed gold hardware finish. And this is a diamond shape uh, quilting. This one is square shape mini with the color blue clay. This is a chevron uh, quilting finish with the shiny silver hardware. Uh, in the front, as you guys can see, the rectangular is a tad bit longer and a bit shorter. On the side, as you can kind of see that uh, the square mini is a little tiny bit wider. On the bottom, just looks like so. On the back, of course, both come with the pocket right there, which I never really use. But of course, you can put folded cash or receipts, something thin and flat and small. So that's um, how they look side by side. Uh, let me show you guys how they look on me, first of all, before I get into what can fit in. So I'm pregnant, you guys all know. So I have a big belly right here. And this one is rectangular. I'm 5'4". And yeah, so even before I was pregnant, um, the rectangular one falls down on me very nice. And it doesn't look too long or too short. I don't know what you guys think. But that's how it looks on me. And let me have this one on the other side so you can see the difference maybe better. Hope you guys can see that. This one falls on me a tad bit short. I mean pretty short. Uh, my hip is right here. So can you guys see that? The difference, it falls. This is much longer than this one. So for me, I, I prefer... Oh my goodness, sorry guys, I can't move around. Uh, for me, I prefer this one uh, just shoulder, you know, on the on my single shoulder um, handbag over crossbody. I I've been really into crossbody bags, so to be honest, I haven't been really uh, carrying that square mini that much compared to this one this one is like my go-to whenever i don't have to bring a lot of stuff with me and me being pregnant i've been just liking something light uh you know carrying on my body so this one falls on me really nicely so that's the um that's how i how they look on me but if you're not pregnant or if you guys are taller than me, 5'4", I'm 5'4", did I say that? Um, I think you will have to go with the rectangular one if you want to wear it as crossbody. I would say strongly suggest to go to rectangular one over square because square one uh, has a shorter chain length. Let me show you guys. The chain length between these two so the rectangular one I mean square is 20 inches let me see sorry guys uh, 20 20 inches and and a half so 20 mm, yeah almost 21 but not quite so 20 uh, 20 inches and a half that's the square mini and the rectangular for the chain length obviously this has to be longer so this one is 23 so 23 inches so two inches and a half uh, longer than the square mini so yeah, that's the difference between these two for the chain. So that will be the biggest difference between these two in my opinion. And I prefer the rectangular chain length. 
And let me show you guys what fits inside of this rectangular mini first. Since this fits a little bit more, uh, I can show you guys what cannot fit inside of that one. So here is my iPhone 6 Plus uh, with the case on. So it fits in nicely. So rectangular because it's longer. Uh, I don't know, for me, it's easier to find and easier for me to organize things inside of this rectangular shape. Classic flap mini. Uh, here is my go-to wallet. I've been carrying this wallet for a like non-stop. Uh, this is the Chanel Zippy Coin purse. So I'll put it in here. Can you guys see that? So of course you guys can't, I normally put this card holder inside of my mini normally, but I've been just carrying this Zippy Coin purse, which works perfectly. And I just want to show you guys all case, Chanel all case fits in here nicely right here there's more space to go here but I don't really carry this inside of my small size handbag because I like to have more space to put more small little goodies in here so next what I will put in here is my Chanel compact mirror so I'll put that on the front area and I'll have blotting paper that's to um, get rid of my oil, uh, especially on my t-zone area during the day and here's my car key that I always have to carry with me because I have to be driving around um, so I'll put that on the side right there and of course you can put the mini pochette inside of here but I really don't do that but it does fit in there and I will have uh, just wanted to show you guys Chanel perfume right here. It's pretty big and thick. It does fit in there nicely. It doesn't stick up, but I don't really need to take this with me, especially when I'm using this small handbag. And this is the one that I'm uh, that I have on today. This is from it's a NARS lipstick. The name is Fanny absolutely love it so I'll put that in there and one of my favorite Tom Ford lipstick this is number 03 I'll put that next to it just in case if I want to change around so this is what I will comfortably put in here in this handbag and there's actually lots more space left um, maybe just to show you guys I can put my perfume on the top and two more lipsticks the YSL lipsticks right there and let me see if it fits it does close nicely right there rectangular um, yeah normally I won't put the perfume and two more lipsticks on the top but I just want to show you guys this so you can see the comparison between that and this so open that up So these, I am going to put all in the square mini. As you can see, when you open this up, you can see everything just at glance. So that's why I really like rectangular over square, actually more. But square being so, so cute. And it just looks so adorable. It's the most cutest thing for me to think of as far as the handbag goes. Uh, opens up like so. Side note, I want to just point out this is 2016, um, of course, this year uh, collection. And Chanel every year makes different, um, it is same caviar leather, but they make it sometimes softer, sometimes uh, stronger. This is the one I would say very, very strong. And it's like you can't even hear the sound. <laughs> It's like very structured and I can I mean it's it looks like square box to me. It's like it's not gonna have any giving uh, as I just you know do that and it has really nice deep chevron quilting shape right as you can see it's pretty puffy. Love that actually my medium to large uh the red 
plastic flap has even deeper finish to it so just wanted to point that out 2016 they made awesome awesome job as you know uh just impressed with the quality how they made this this piece so that's that <laughs> just side note right okay so inside exactly the same did i say that but in there it's the same thing just one big open pocket right here on the back side of this bag and there is a zipper pull right here uh, i didn't take the plastic off yet and inside there is a little pocket area which i normally don't put anything in there because i don't know it's being small i don't think about that too much to put in there and iphone 6 plus with the case on it fits in very nicely um you know every year even just from my experience they changed the shape just had a, a little bit and this year i think they made it a little uh bigger just i don't know it could be different because they're all handmade so could be all different but iphone 6 plus fits in with the case on i was like "Ooh, that's so good anyhow uh let me show you guys quickly oh case it does fit in there nicely it's the same exact matching one but i normally don't carry that together and normally i carry my key holder i mean card holder in here as the matching set but today to compare that i will have my uh, red one the zippy coin purse in here and of course my phone i'll put that in there on the back right there square mini it's getting full already so in here chanel uh compact mirror of course and i will have my blotting paper in there and i will have my key the car key inside right there and there is more space so it fits everything that i have to have um actually the second one doesn't really fit in because it's a little bit uh, bulky so i would just have to have one lipstick so you know same thing that i will carry exactly the same except this one but this one on the top i can put on because it's a little bit taller uh, but just like what i did with the rectangular just will show you guys um, i have this one in that rectangular one you remember so i don't think this will fit in so two lipsticks taken out um let me see if it fits you know why it doesn't the difference that i want to point this out um is rectangular one it seems like the shape of rectangular on the side it is like three inches right here and on the top part it's still like three inches almost it doesn't squeeze in or it doesn't like taper outward but this one does uh, normally i will show you guys my lambskin one also but that's the reason that uh rectangular will fit more also because on the top part even though there is space you cannot put much on the top just because you have to kind of make it squeeze in on the top this area so it will close the flap yeah i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about um so but i can still put my extra lipstick that i wanted to have with me right so this will uh, close up as you can see like i said it goes upward and gets narrower like right here so it'll be like three inches right here it will be two inches on the top so that's the difference so this cannot fit as much as this rectangular one fits but in my opinion they're the same to me they are very similar in size just because this is a little taller and narrower so um, i have to kind of move around things just the little things around to organize and things will fit in there and normally i don't carry too much stuff with me when i'm carrying this small handbag like this so i'm out of breath again so that's what will fit inside of these two 
And let me show you guys my lambskin one. I have this lambskin square mini right here. I know I've been obsessed with the Chanel classic flap. I mean, mini size especially. I do have medium to large classic flaps and jumbo, but the ones that I use the most are the mini size. Um, just easy and very cute. It goes with anything, uh, any outfit that I wear. So I wear, uh, you know, the most of the time the mini, I just go for them. So that's why I have many. So here you guys can see it's just exactly the same bag, uh, just different color and the shape. This is chevron and this is the diamond quilting shape, the classic one. And this is the lambskin, which is softer and looking more luxurious than the caviar leather normally looks. And it's just, this is like my favorite combination. I love lambskin, uh, black lambskin, or it can, it doesn't have to be black, but just black lambskin looking very smooth finish, even looking like that be shiny right there. And the poofiness is still there and the shiny finish silver, silver hardware. It just looks perfect to me. I don't know. I mean, people all have different opinions, but just in my eyes, I really like this crisp finish, fresh look together. Looks very, very lovely. Love it so much. So this is what I have and I have used this handbag. I don't know how many times, but I, I'm not really, really afraid to use lambskin after having lambskin handbags from Chanel. It's not as, not as, um, fragile I'll say because people all get really scared and I do get scared also if I see the scratch and uh, if I see some kind of wear out of just be you know just wearing it then I will get uh, kind of scared but still I really enjoy wearing it and this being very small I don't really worry too much about it <laughs> I hope that makes sense but if it was a size like maxi or jumbo I will worry more because <clears throat> excuse me i will be you know it will be kind of hard for me to you know um control or uh see if it will get more damage or hitting somebody next to me or some things like that but this is being very very small and crossbody i do wear this crossbody actually this is like very interesting for me square mini I think I mentioned one time in my outfit of the day video, uh, the chain length to me looks very, very similar. And these are both square mini, but look at that. Actually, lambskin is longer. Can you guys see that? I am just holding it this way on the top. Didn't change anything, but can you see the lambskin square is longer? It could be just ear difference people make. Both are 2016 made. Uh, so I don't know why. But caviar leather, I in my you know, in my understanding, caviar leather is thicker, or I wouldn't say thicker, but it's more firm uh, than this soft lambskin. Hmm. Not quite sure why exactly, but Anyhow, it is, oh, it was kind of folded. It went down just a little bit. <laughs> but still, lambskin is a tad bit longer, chain-wise. That's the reason now I see it. I didn't really uh, compare that before. But this one falls on me shorter like that. Uh, and this one, lambskin one, falls on me uh lower i don't think you can really see that but you know i can see myself so that's why i wear this more than my caviar one because to me um i always wear crossbody nowadays so this one is still comfortable for me to carry it as crossbody this one i yeah if i wear this i have to wear it this way just to on my shoulder and um, 
anyhow, I prefer crossbody option more. So that will be the difference. And um, if I have to choose one classic mini out of these three, I would definitely choose rectangular. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly this matching set. Uh, my my ultimate uh, like holy grail, I guess, like combination uh, mini flap was rectangular black caviar leather with the shiny finish uh, silver hardware. That's what I was always looking for, but I haven't found one. And I found this one from my lovely SA Celine uh, at Sex. Uh, so yeah, I went I went for it, and I'm really in love and I still love it but that was what I was looking for at first but ended up getting lambskin one and I really do enjoy it together and that's uh, what I will talk about and the difference also that if you guys are not sure which one to go for if you're a tall girl like taller than me 5'4 I would suggest you to go with this one um, and if you guys you like crossbody option uh, of course i would suggest you to go with this rectangular size because uh, square mini uh, has shorter chain length so it won't really work for everybody uh, for crossbody but if you don't like to wear crossbody of course you can always go with this one and be happy with it right so and i think this Square shape is the cutest thing ever. It's just so so adorable. Something special about this square mini. Uh, it looks kind of vintage. Also, they used to have a you know square mini like this, and the flap will be a little shorter, kind of up here, and the CC is like in the middle part, and that is so cute. But that's vintage look. So this one has that option together and it looks different than the classic flap like medium to large or jumbo this one is like baby size of the classic medium to large or jumbo or maxi so this has everything like classic look so that would be the difference also and also another uh one more thing i want to add is that if you don't have any Chanel handbags and if you want to go for one Chanel handbag, I know Wallow on the Chain is very, very popular, but um, I don't know. I'm still, you know, not sure. Anyhow, uh, I will definitely go with this one because you will get the look of the classic uh, Chanel flap look. And if you want just one Chanel handbag and that will work from being young to like me mommy and I can see myself wearing this still after become like 50 or 60 uh, yeah that's that's what I want to say so I highly recommend rectangular but square mini it's just so adorable I absolutely love both of course so yeah I think this video is very very long I hope you guys enjoy this video and I got to you know help you guys for you know something anyhow i hope everyone is having a wonderful day i'll talk to you guys later bye, -bye.